Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. This is episode number 12 of Europa Universalis 4, playthrough as Castile. And where we last left off, we did colonization some more. Um, we also, we took our second idea group, defensive ideas, because I really want more morale for my army. So if we're going to compete against um, some higher piety Muslims, which I didn't mention in the last episode, but that's another thing. Muslims have this piety slider, which is... Uh, you know, if they're really pious, they've get they've got more morale. If they're less pious, then they get more technology increase. So this is going to be able to help us against those type of situations. Also, if we're in less ideal terrains, it's going to just help us pull through, which is really nice. Um, on top of you know all the other benefits with leader siege, which is really nice, um, and then also we're going to get uh, armies are going to gain attrition just because <laughs> which is sweet um and then we'll get less attrition which is nice but anyways before then we're gonna get we're gonna finish off our exploration ideas very quickly so we've got two more to go the next one is a free colonist which will bump our colonists up to three we will to push colonies through the roof and that's really why castile is really powerful they start off with uh one plus one missionary and they also start off with an extra colonist um Right off the bat, with this here, their uh, their Spanish idea, so they just colonize like crazy. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a, a playthrough with them not colonizing. Can never have too much grain in the grain coast. Go figure. Um. So yeah, so that's that's really nice. It's going to help us out, and we're also going to get permanent Casas Belli against pagans. Uh, 100 population in Sierra Leone. That's very nice. They're going to be going away very soon. Uh, benign neglect. Very nice. We can get uh, local trade power. We can get local tax modifier. Uh, local manpower modifier. I think we can take the local tax modifier. Uh, where is this? Galicia. I'm actually going to take the trade power. I lied. <laughs> because if it was down here, then I would take the, uh, the tax. Eh. But that means that they are going to give us a lot more trade power in the Bordeaux trade node. Very nice. So let's keep going. We're plugging along. And what are we doing next? We're going to take our next set of admin. Yes. Uh, we need more buildings. That's what we need. Temples, temples, temples. We can build one more temple here. Okay. Ooh, and our both of our diplomats just finished up. Um, who do we want to send it to next? Let's look at Portugal. Get out of buildings. Plus 113. Improve relations. It's kind of dying out. We need to improve relations. They're our buddies. We're best friends. That's how it works. Uh, France is plus 67. England is not happy with us. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. So we're going to improve relations, get them at least into the positive. All right. And we're going to keep plugging along. So, yes, let's look. Mali, Mali, Mali. Military tech level two. Um, so, Sierra Leone is almost done. I may end up, once I core this, this province, and once we have a fort here, I'm probably going to go to war with Mali. We're going we're gonna to make this interesting. Um, so we're going to prep that by, let's start grabbing some more milk. Uh, because we're going to want to just kind of squish them. That's what we're going to want to do. I don't want to do that. That's, it's expensive. I will do that only if there is nothing else to do. Mm, let's lose the prestige. That's fine. Oh! Son of a monkey pooper. I think I lost my, uh, yep, I forgot about him. Oops. Um, about that. Let's build a bark. Sorry, sorry, my fault. All right, so I kind of forgot about our Navy guy. So we're going to build you here. Next tech. 
we are not ahead of time, which is good. Uh, we're going to take the courthouse and the workshop, which is really nice. Get less revolt risk and yearly papal influence. Not by much, but enough. Uh, and then plus that on every single province, that's, that does end up being pretty strong. Uh, let's see. Goods produced. That's huge. So we're going to want that everywhere. One at a time. One at a time, of course. Now are we ahead? <laughs> ahead of time. Okay, so it's going to take us a while to get up to the next attack, but uh, we're still ahead by 13 years. So, ouch. That's good, right? New decisions. Pass active uniformity. Missionary strength plus 1%. I'm going to like that. Take that. Free. Uh, tax modifier. Stability cost minus 8. I'm going to like that too. We'll take that one too. Lose a little bit, a little bit of money, but save a little bit of admin points. Yeah. Papal influence. Nobody's taking him. Nobody's taking him. Let's start stealing some people away. Let's get this cheap guy here. He's fifty-two. Um. Ooh, and we can't. We're close. Ooh, a lot of people are fighting for him. That was probably a bad idea. And we're going. You. Oh, yeah. You. Let's get you in here. Attach. And let's bring you on down to Mali. We're getting ready. Self-sustaining. Fantastic. All right, so... You, we're going to go to the province. We're going to set you as a core. 15 months is really quick. It's not very long whatsoever. Uh, and that means that we're going to go to war. Actually, I'm going to grab the next level of fort in there. In this one, too. Once this core is done. So that'll be starting. Um, I'm also going to go... This one has a... This one. Let's send the colonist here for now. And that will speed this up. Because this one's kind of been going pretty slow. Uh, just because we've been neglecting it. So. Let's move on. Alright. January of 1494. So we got a year. We've got some money, making some monies. We're up to 5.6 gold a turn. All right, let's look at getting some advisors again. Ooh, we've got no advisors. Um, so we're going to get the theologian because I think that he is going to give us some new ideas. We're going to get the trade power guy. Sure. And we're going to wait because we don't have any money. All about the points, right? Now let's look at our ideas and we don't have anything yet we probably already took the ideas oh yeah yeah yes yeah. so let's take a look here 50 years we've got about 20 more years until we can start integrating that is awesome 20 more years bump 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 um, diplomacy. Let's double check on the exact date. Integrate. Natives gain or lose one ferocity. That's nice. Uh, that we need to get them at plus 190, which is not too bad. We're rarely close. Ooh, speaking of that, we need to upgrade our influence over Naples. Um, and then we can integrate them in year 1512 which is awesome. That's actually in nine years. We're going to be able to integrate Aragon into our society. We're going to get free cores everywhere, and they're going to be one of us. And then from there, we're probably going to be able to take on Spain. We will be Spain instead of Castile. So in a very short amount of time, we, we've, we'll be able to have accomplished a lot. Um, so we've got pirates. Not good. Let's take you. Bring you on over here. Squishy the pirates. Squishy them. 
All right, float the Canaries. Uh, let's get you a leader. Let's recruit an explorer. Send you on your merry way, and we're gonna start going out. We are gonna take better care to watch him. Take better care. Ooh, we can convert Almeria. Very nice. Let's send them in there. Convert them. Almeria. Let's also do some harsh treatment. Because we're ahead of military points anyways. That's going to eliminate the revolt risk because we are already... Um... We're already ahead in military, so it's okay that we use some of it to do that. And that's going to save us um, because we're getting ready to attack Mali. All right, we're done improving relations with, uh, with England. We're going to wait for them to come home. And then we're going to send them to Naples because Naples is very, is in the cl they're very close to uh, being able to integrate. Um, I think we actually had them the same amount. Of, we got them at the exact same time as uh, Aragon, so... Let's send you home. So you, let's deploy. And they, they like us, so it's good. Let's improve their relations. And we actually haven't improved their relations whatsoever. We can build something. What do we want to build? Go to Sierra Leone is now, I know what we're gonna build. We're gonna build a fort. <laughs> <laughs> Earth Rampart. Build it. Oh, crap. That was a bad idea. Let's send you back. Troops off. Combine them. What do we got for a makeup? We've got 12 and 8, which is very good. Um, we're going to be able to... Let's heal up, too. Uh, so once we heal up, this is very close to being able to complete. We'll have it February. Um, very close. A little, in about a year or so. We're going to let these guys heal up. And then we're going to go in for the kill. Uh, Fuit de Jalon has uh, ivory. More ivory. Some slaves. Uh, Wasuju has grain. You can never have too much grain. And I can't see the rest. Now, normally, when you have these this terra incognita the, on land, the only way to discover it is actually by having an explorer. Um, ooh. The various and innovative ideas of the Renaissance are spreading through Italy. Already, a number of wealthy families have decided to provide financial support for the promising artists. Are we to let history pass us by without leaving our mark on it? So is that's only 34 ducats. Let's I'm gonna unpause. I'm gonna gain a month. Alright. We're gonna take that. Get some more prestige. I just didn't want to go into the negatives. Alright. So this is gonna be fairly easy to do. We're going to break off the transports right here. And we're going to take the heavies. And actually just pre-push them out into the ocean. Molly's got some trade ships already. Ooh, we don't have a free diplomat. So let's wait. Let's wait. I'm, I'm not in a rush. Let's wait for Portugal to be buddy-buddy. And let's, uh, oh, let's wait. <laughs> um... What are we looking at? Are you allied with anybody, Malie? Kanam Bornu. I'm not worried about you, Kanam Bornu. Kanam Bornu is actually, it's another pagan, or maybe a Muslim, but they're another nation right out in Africa. So the only ones that I was actually slightly worried about was the three nations, well, two nations up here. 
Haha, <laughs> Tunisia's mine. Um, because if they were allied with Morocco or Algiers, then that would have been kind of tricky because then the Ottomans could have been pulled in and, you know, it, it just gets a little bit tricky. Crimea's got some rebels, but they're kind of pretty big. Lithuania's huge. Yeah, we're good. Um, so, so yeah, so they're, they're not, they're not allied with anybody that I couldn't handle. All right, and we're back. So I accidentally hit, uh, ooh. play is that one? Play. Okay. So I accidentally hit, uh, the windows key, which set me out of the game and ended up crashing it for some reason. So, um, Let's wait a couple months again. This is a bad event. So, Colonial Company goes bankrupt. We do not want to uh, lose half of our population in, um, in the Green Coast. We just don't want to do it. We are... Ooh, we only have one colony. Holy crap. Why? Why Why? Why so, so good, so bad? Let's lose the money. Let's go here. Ooh, this one's a core. Beautiful. That one went quick. Fantastic. All right, so we've got a one there. Let's move. On to the next one. They're not very ferocious. So we're going to send another colonist there. And then this colonist over here in the Grain Coast can be done soon. Which is very good. And so these are really nice provinces. This is a base 3 tax. This is another base 3, base 5, base 2. Um, so this is a lot of income that's going to be generated, especially in this node. Now the beauty of this node is all the money that gets made in here gets sent out. So we're going to send all the money to the Grain Coast. And then send all the money up into Seville. And then we're going to have a big fleet in Seville. Sevilla. Uh, which means that we're going to try to collect as much trade as we can in the Sevilla node. Now, uh, alternatively, we are going to take our third colonist. Take it. Give me. Um, <laughs> and with that, we also got the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, so no one expected it. <laughs> That's a funny little note. Um, <laughs> So we get missionary strength plus 2%, which is nice. It's going to help us convert the Muslims back into the Christians. Uh, and then we also get tolerance of heretics, uh, which is not good. And toler tolerance of heathens, not so good. So the difference between that, the heretics are the ones are going to be the Protestants that come in and try to mess up our day, uh, especially in Europe. And they will hit very hard if they're not. And I believe it's in year 1500 is when it starts. Um, so we'll see some events come in. And then the heathens are going to be anybody that doesn't believe in Christianity at all. So, yeah. Anyways. Um, so the next idea... Ooh, papal influence, plus three. That's going to be big. Um, but the next idea for Diplotech is going to be our last one. And we're going to get that permanent Casas Bella against all the pagan nations. Uh, so, sweet. And overseas income. So that's very nice. On to boot. Uh, plus one colonists. We need more colonies. What are we doing? So we've got one and a half colonies going. Um, so I need to let things save. All right. I'm going to keep going. Let's go the next province over. Now, as far as the provinces go, we're going to go to war with Mali. I forgot. We want our diplomat back. We're waiting on Portugal, which is just about done. It's gonna be, there it is. Bingo, bango. We've got money. I'm going to hold off on buildings for right now. Um, Earth of Rampart. Who needs to build it? I don't know. So I'm going to hold off on the Earth Ramparts because we don't have to worry about it right away. Uh, yeah. We're going to go to war. Now that we have a free colonist, let's take a look. Diplomacy, declare war. Who would come with us? Portugal, yes. Let's take Fute Jalon. Now that's going to be the target. Uh, we could start claiming, uh, but I don't want to. We've got a lot of stuff to do. So let's um, call in. Declare war. It already happened. 